scores of missiles again launched against Ukraine. The question is whether this is part of a new Russian offensive. But there seem to be two things happening here. We'll take you through it. First of all, we saw missile attacks, multiple missile attacks on Kyiv, Kharkiv, Zaporizhia. These are cities far away from Russian control. What were they targeting? Well, a familiar pattern, uh, which we're all getting used to, really. This shows a hydroelectric station, smoke coming out of it. How do we know where that is? Well, just look at that rather distinctive shape building. Bear in mind the body of water, the shape of that building, and we can try and match that to satellite imagery. So this is what we see on satellites. You can see the power plant up here. Body of water, it's looking like a convincing match, but if we go into Street View down here just to have a look around at the surroundings, uh, we can make absolutely sure we're in the right place because, again, there are so many claims and counterclaims in this war. We want to make sure that we know exactly what's happening. And if we take you around here, you can see that very distinctive building with that bell-shaped dome. So we're happy this is Zaporizhia. And that what seems to be happening in that area of the country. But something else uh, in the east of the country, in the Donbass, Donetsk and Luhansk, will take you in a bit closer. We've been talking about this for a long time. Solidar, obviously captured by the Russians, the fierce fighting around Bakhmut. Well, this is what the situation looked like a week ago in Bakhmut. The red areas is definite Russian control. And this is what they've taken in the meantime. You can see that's not a huge amount, but it is contributing to the sense of encirclement. We're seeing Russian positions a lot further on. Now, again, this is all contested. This is one of those videos uh, that we have found and verified. You can see here, I'll just pause it, help you make it out a bit better. Those are two Russian soldiers along with their colleagues over there uh, trying to get into a building uh, for cover. This is from the Ukrainian military and you'll see what they do next. Um, they find that building, they're targeting it with shelling. So this is still deeply contested, even as Russia seems to be coming around. The question then becomes, well, if Bakhmut does fall, whether that's because of an evacuation, does Russia push on to Kramatorsk and Slovyansk? These are more important cities strategically, but they are better defended. They have very strong defensive lines. So even if Bakhmut does go, and it's probably not worth that much in the grand scheme, apart from the symbolic victory, of course, it is not going to be a quick march to those two cities. This is going to be another long, bloody slog.